Longing for something that once was is something everyone has done at least once. You wake up, a deep melancholy sets in. Perhaps caused by a dream that made you remember something. It evokes a sense of sadness, wistfulness, perhaps a bit of anger or joy, all mixed up in a word that we call nostalgia. Nostalgia is, by its nature, bittersweet. It pulls you back to a past version of yourself with all the ups and downs that entails, and it tends to lead you down a rocky path of what-ifs. Sometimes nostalgia is fleeting, other times you can get so stuck in it that you forget current circumstances. Nostalgia as a theme is prevalent in many forms of media. It's relatable. It's evocative. It's easy to slip into. And it is a key theme in the lives of Hajime Kudo and Kujirai Reiko, two residents in the maze-like city of Kowloon. This theme serves as a bond between the two as they navigate their generic lives in this cramped and bustling city. Reiko tends to be more future-minded. She enjoys new restaurants, new experiences, and wants to try some of the latest trends. To her, Kowloon is a city wading its way towards the future. Kudo is a man of the past. He enjoys the same restaurants, the same mahjong with the same group of guys, the same game of receipt lotteries every week. To him, Kowloon is a refuge for things long past. Day by day, these two grow closer, despite their differences, as though fate itself is pulling the strings. Each page is filled with this ethereal sense of longing, as though we the audience are a character in their story tasked with watching and waiting in this odd, stagnant city for a current to brush away the facade and send the story cascading into something more. Romance builds. Mysteries spring forth, page after page turns, and before you know it, you're there. <laughs> Kowloon Walled City. A city outside of time. A city where anything can happen. This is Kowloon Generic Romance.